the grade twos and welcome back to Worksheet Cloud. Welcome to your grade two maths lesson for today and I hope you've had a lovely day so far and that you're ready to learn with me again. If there are any things that you don't understand during the lesson, or if you have any questions after the lesson, you can just ask mommy or daddy to send an email to grade two at worksheetcloud.com and we will try and answer your questions as quickly as possible. So if you've never watched a lesson with us before, if you've never seen me in a lesson, my name is Teacher Taryn. And today we're going to learn all about counting patterns. Okay, so here I've got a hundred block and I've got the number 52 in blue. Have a look over here where 52 is. It's the number after 51 and the number before 53. So now we're going to count in twos. So let's count on from 52 or we count forward. So 52 and add another 2, we get to 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68 and 70, 72, 74, and well done. Now, do you see a pattern while we are counting in twos that all our numbers will end in a two, a four, a six, an eight, or a zero at the end? And this is because these are all our even numbers. Okay, so let's see if we can count forward in twos from the number 82. 82, 84, 86, and now we need to carry on, and we cannot use a hundred block for this anymore. We're going to try it and do it by ourselves. 88, 90, 92, 94, 96, 98, 100, and well done. Maybe you can even count past 100 if you'd like to. Okay, we are going to now start at the number 50. And 50 is halfway between 1 and 100. Now we're going to count in 5s. So we're going to count forward. So we're going to add a 5 to 50. 55, 60, 65, 70. And well done. Let's see if we can carry on without the 100 block. 25, 30, 35, what do you think is going to be next? 40, yes, and 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. Now we're going to start at 2, and we're going to now count in 10s. So we're going to add 10 every time we count, and counting in 10s, there's a clever little trick that we can use. When we count in tens on our hundred block, we're just going to jump one number down. The number below two is going to be ten more because only our tens will change every time we add ten. So two, twelve, twenty-two, thirty-two, forty-two, fifty-two, sixty-two, seventy-two, eighty-two. 92 and if we added another 10 and we crossed the 100 we would land on 102. Okay so let's see if we can do that with another number without making it a different color on our 100 block. If we had to start with the number 9 and now we're going to count in 10s from 9. We're going to add 10 every time. Now remember our 10s in the number is going to change so 9, 19, 29, 39, 49, 59, 69, 79, 89, and 99. So let's remember our trick that we can use when we count on in tens on our hundred block. We can just add 10 and hop down on our hundred block. Let's see if we can do it without the hundred block. We're going to count in tens from 6 and we're going to add 10 every time. 
So our tens is going to change from 6 to 16. We've now added a 10. And now we add another 10. Our 10 changes to a 20. So 26, 36, 46, 56, 66, 76, 86, 96, 106, if we wanted to count over 100. Okay, well done. But did you know that you can also make patterns with shapes, not only with numbers? We can use shapes to repeat a pattern. So we can repeat the pattern that is here, but let's quickly see what our pattern is. We have a green circle, a blue square, and a pink triangle. So if we had to repeat that pattern once more, it would be a green circle, a blue square, and a pink triangle. So let's see if you can say, what is the next shape going to be without repeating this whole pattern again? Yes, well done, a green circle, a blue square, and a pink triangle. A green circle, and the next one, a blue square, and a pink triangle. Yes, well done. So this whole set of shapes have repeated one more time. So let's look at our next set of shapes. Now it's a little bit more difficult because we have a yellow star and another yellow star and then a blue circle. So this is our whole set of shapes. If we had to repeat this set, it would be another yellow star, yellow star, blue circle. And there we go. We have two sets of the same group of shapes. Yellow star, yellow star, circle. Another set of the same group of shapes. Now we've got a yellow star and what's going to be next? Yes, another yellow star. And a blue circle. So this, this pattern of shapes has repeated to be another pattern of shapes. And another one, and another one. Now if I had to ask you how many sets of this pattern are there, there are four, because this is one set, this is my second set, this is my third set, and this is my fourth set of exactly the same pattern. Okay, now we have the same shape, but the pattern repeats in colors. So we've got a yellow arrow, a green arrow, and a blue arrow. A yellow arrow, a green arrow, and a blue arrow. And another yellow arrow, green arrow, and a blue arrow. And what do you think is going to be next? Yes, well done, a yellow arrow. And then a green arrow and a blue arrow. Now it's a little bit more difficult to see where our set starts and ends because it started with a yellow arrow. So our next set is where the yellow arrow starts again. There is our second set. And here is our third set. And our last set that we did together is the last yellow arrow, green arrow, and blue arrow. Okay, so now we've done repeated patterns. This pattern has repeated a second, a third, and a fourth time. But when we do patterns, we also have a growing pattern. And this pattern is going to grow just like you grow. So it starts off with a pink square one pink square. Now my second set of shapes is two pink squares. So it's grown by adding one more next door. Now we have three pink squares. So we started off with one pink square. Now we have two pink squares. And now we have three pink squares. So let's have a think. What is our next set going to be? One, two, three. Three, yes, we are going to have four pink squares. So every time we write a new set, we've added one pink square to the end. So what is our last set going to be that we're going to do together? We're going to have five pink squares. One, two, three, four, five pink squares. Well done. Now we have two orange rectangles. 
and our next set is another two. So we have two, and then we have four in our next set. So what have we done to the first set to increase it to four in the next set? We've added two, or we've doubled our first set. So let's see what happens with our third set. We now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight orange rectangles. So we had two, now we have four, and in our third set we have eight. So what do you think the pattern is that has happened between all these rectangles? Yes, it has doubled. We had two, and double two is four, and double four is eight. So what is double eight? Because that's going to be our next set in the pattern. Double eight is 16. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen orange rectangles. So here our growing pattern has doubled between all our sets. Okay, we have a green circle and a blue star. Now we have two green circles and two blue stars. So we've just added another circle and another star. So our next set, what do you think we're going to do? We're going to have, yes, three green circles and three green stars. Well done. So grade twos, you are very clever boys and girls and I hope you've enjoyed learning all about different types of patterns today, how you can count and make patterns with numbers and how you can also make patterns with shapes. And I hope you have a lovely afternoon further and until the next time we can learn together, goodbye grade twos. And this lesson was brought to you by Worksheet Cloud.